welcome back to another Silhouette Sunday. Today is very exciting for me. I figured out a way how to add some foiling to my ephemera pieces. So that changes a lot of things. You know how sometimes we have ephemera pieces that are just, that don't have some of the foiling on it. So now with this, you can add uh, whatever you want to your images, to your ephemera pieces, I'm sorry. Um, so once you put your ephemera pieces or your journaling cards or your um, uh, project life cards on your mat, on your pixie scan mat, that's what I'm using. I've had this for a very long time, so I'm glad I'm able to use it. Uh, if you have the brother scan and cut, this will be a lot easier, but I do not have that machine, okay? So now, now when you uh, put your images on your mat, you will take a picture of uh, your whole mat with your ephemera pieces on it and then um, you're going to upload it to your computer and then from there you're going to open it on the you're going to uh, click on the pixie scan um, menu there and upload your image to your silhouette uh, studio okay so once your image is saved you can click on the menu there and upload it to your studio, okay? And you will see this, uh, except my the red uh, borders there, those are the ones that have been already added to uh, my images just for the sake of the video. I will show you how I did these uh, stitch lines on here. Um, once you uh, trace the outer edge of your, um, of your borders, which I have another video that um, that I showed how to do that and I will link it down below so we're gonna add stitching to these um, journaling cards from the Splendor collection so once you do your uh, trace outer edge on your borders whatever designs you want just copy paste and on your ephemera mat here and uh, just play around with it you know size it just play around with it and size it until you have a, a achieved what you uh, what you want you can make these as thick as you want or you know uh, as thin as you want once you have uh, one of them done you can just copy paste it it'll be a lot easier that way you don't have to do it again uh, maybe a little bit more adjustments on the top and bottom but uh, that's about it okay if you have any questions, please uh, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, I don't know if this is already out there, you guys. I just figured this out in the, in the last week, uh, just playing around with it. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to... Um, to been able to figure this out. I don't have a sewing machine, so this works really good for me. Well, actually I do have one, but I lost the pedal on it, so I guess it's like not having one, right? And then I can't sew to save my life, so this makes it a lot easier. I will learn, I promise. Okay, so now we have your borders you can just uh, if you have an, you have other journaling cards that you want to add the border to just select copy and paste and then that way you can uh, just keep on adding that uh, border stitch to your uh, journaling cards or your um, uh, project life cards okay it makes it a lot easier um, so let me delete that and then let's do another image here. I already, you know, did the stitching on this one, on this tag. 
and uh, added some on this ticket here and then I also added some font to the middle of it I put the love on there so it will foil the word love on my ticket and um, you can use any font you want as big as you want as small as you want So let me delete that, and I think I used the font, uh, I think it's up there, I can't see it very good. So now, uh, let's see, let's play around with this bow, let's add some uh, cut lines to it, but it's actually going to do foiling, okay? So uh, you open that tab, and you you click and let go so it will curve. Once you're done just go back and click on the uh, arrow button and it will stop and as you can see it's the, my lines are black it's because my font wasn't black and um, but see if I if I go back to the send you'll see the red lines on there so I'm good. I just need to change the uh, color of my lines to red again I can do that in a minute. It's just um, I should have left my font in red. See how the font is black? It's because I don't know what I was thinking. So sorry about that. So now we're going to add some more lines here to uh, my bow so it will add the foiling. But like I said, it's not showing red because of my, you see the top box right here? It's in black ink. Um, I'm going to try to change it to red again. That way it can show up. And, um, but you see it turned black again on me, so it's okay. I will get it. It's still doing it for me, but it is easier if you have them highlighted in red. That way you can see your lines there. Let me do this again. And I hope this time it will stay. Okay. So looks like it's staying this time around, so that's good. Let's give this another try. Okay, there it is. So now um, let's go over the bow again. And there's a red line there, okay? So there it is, you guys. Let's uh, send it to my uh, machine. I will show you a short, uh, short clip on what it's doing and then the final results. Don't forget to um, send and uh, make sure all your cut lines are there, okay? Hey, you guys. Now it's time to add our foil to our ephemera pieces. Um, I didn't use a lot of foil, I just did the ones on the edges, I just did little strips of foil uh, where on the bird uh, ephemera piece I did cover it, that way, you know, not a lot of cutting of foil to do. Uh, this one I just did the edges because it's just the stitches on the edges. Um, so I hope, you know, you guys find this useful and uh, you know, add some foil to your ephemera pieces if you think they're kind of boring, you know, and then like our, I know sewing looks better like the original stitching, but if you don't have a sewing machine, this will be a great option to do. And uh, like I don't know how to sew, so I do have a sewing machine, I just haven't used it. Maybe I will try it one day, but um, this changes a lot for me just to add foiling um, to my images, like the stitching, the yeah, the stitching image on there works fine for me. Um, and this is the foil quill uh, kit that I picked up a while back when it came out. Uh, it does have three pens. You get the standard tip, fine tip, and bolt tip. I am using the bolt tip for this image uh, for my uh, project here. But um, 
I think this is the fine one and this is the standard and the one in there is the bold one, the one that I have on there and um, I'm using the gold foil that came with it uh, so let's uh, put this in the machine and I'll show you a little clip on how it works and then the final reveal, okay? So it's reading the registration marks final results in a couple minutes okay you guys the machine is done doing its work so now it's time for the reveal um, let's start with this one right here we peel that off and uh, if you guys want to take care of your mat uh, maybe you could put like a piece of cardstock or white cardstock on this side on the inside of the, your mat and um, that way the foil doesn't stick to your um, to your mat okay but since I've had this mat for a very long time uh, and I'm just practicing and uh, experimenting I didn't mind it uh, get it ruined I I believe you can use a 40% off coupon at um, Hobby Lobby I think this is where I picked up but there's other great coupons at Michaels I don't know if they do carry the the pixie scan mat anymore I remember I saw it on clearance and never picked it up so now I regret it. So here's our first ephemera piece with the uh, stitch foiling on there. Very nice. I like how it came out. Okay so that's one of the ephemera pieces. Now let's look at our bow. See how this did. there it is with the foiling it did really really good okay and let's look at our little tag here that we uh, added some font to and some stitching to this little ticket right here really nice I like how that came out remember it was just blend there's nothing on there so now you can add some font to your tickets and some uh, foil stitching to it really pretty now let's look at our bird see how we uh, those lines that we did there it just um, that and it gives it a little extra you know extra look to your ephemera pieces if they're just um, just you know Blend. So now let's look at our um, cards here from the Splendor Collection. So this did really good as well. So these cards were really pretty the way they are but now they you know you get that extra look to it so I really like that really neat you guys okay and then I forgot to add foiling to this piece right here um, so I mean that's okay I can always go back and um, well you can leave it on here and then just add that foiling again and then run it through your machine and then stop it before you go somewhere else um, but it's okay. There it is. Really nice. I love how that foiling looks with uh, the color, the dark colors on here. Really cute. 
so let me know what you guys think I am really um, impressed with uh, the outcome of this tutorial here you guys I really am liking the end results of this So, and then I had done some other ones. I did this, uh, this is from the Carousel Collection. It just came uh, black and white, I think. And I added some foiling inside, just the way I showed you on the um, studio. And then I also did another ticket. Did a little foiling on the little lines. And then I uh, added some foiling to the flowers. Okay. So there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, so let me know what you think, you guys, and I will catch you in my next Silhouette Sunday. Don't uh, forget to watch my new out Tuesday morning for a chance to enter on my weekly giveaways. Bye, you guys.